Another handy facility is something called Shadow Migration, where you can take an existing uh, local or remote file system, UFS, ZFS, or whatever, NFS mounted, if you like, uh, and you can migrate it to a ZFS data set and be using that new ZFS data set as though it was a complete file system while the migration is going on. Okay. You can only do it uh, copy from a read-only file system. So if you look at the bottom here, you can see that you have to have uh, read the read-only property on a ZFS data set. Uh, if it's a UFS local one, then remount it with the read-only option. If it's NFS, make sure it's shared read-only from the server. Secondly, you have to have an additional package installed, which might not have been there when you installed Solaris 11 in the first place. And you have to do a PKG install shadow migration. You can learn more about the packaging system and installing Solaris on the full five-day transition to Solaris 11 course that's available from Skill Builders. Okay, once that's installed, imagine that we have a remote machine that has a directory on it called uh, slash software. As it happens, I happen to have one here. The name of the machine is actually whale, so the command I'm going to use is slightly different. Okay, and I'm going to put it into my R, R pool because I, I have more space available in that particular Z pool. So I'm going to do ZFS create ZFS create minus O shadow equals NFS colon slash slash whale which is my server slash software space R pool slash software Okay, the prompt came straight back. The migration is going on in the background. I should be able to ls slash r pool slash software. Uh, and the actual source of slash software has got quite a bit of stuff contained within it. Various uh, course templates and Solaris distributions and so forth. But I can access it as though it's already complete. Yeah. So you can use that data set and that directory quite happily as though the whole thing is there. And in fact you can use shadow stat to watch the pro uh, progress of the migration. Okay, It's complaining that I don't have uh, sh the shadow D daemon enabled so shadow D and let's try shadow stat this time. Okay. Hopefully this will start outputting some data to me uh, fairly soon. There we go. The transfer is treated as a bit of a background process and the program does seem a little bit um, erratic. Yeah. You can see sometimes you're reported on the amount of space left and sometimes it doesn't. And here, as an example, you, if I do a control C out of this, uh, you can do df minus h. And let's have a look for whale. And there you can see the mount. And when the migration is completed, the file system will be unmounted. Okay. So we can leave that running. Hopefully it won't fill up my R pool before the end of the presentation.